Hi everybody, Amy White from Worthy Written Words. Today we're going to be in our journaling edition Old Testament and the last page of the Bible. I've got a book underneath here to help balance it out. And we're going to be working on Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. And we're going to be doing this Healing in His Wings page kit. If you need any of the supplies, you can find them in, in the video description below with links. I don't know what comes at the end of your Bible, but at the end of mine, I have this Joseph Smith Translation Index, and it's part of being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints faith, but if you're not a member, then you can just ignore it and just focus on whatever's on the back of your Bible page. Using either Art Basics Clear Gesso or Dina Wakely Media Clear Gesso, I'm going to prep my pages for wet media. And so I have just some pages of scrap paper underneath to protect them and a one inch black foam brush or you could use a paintbrush and I'm just going to apply this liberally and then I'm going to brush it into the page. Now you want to smooth it out really well and not have it be super heavy or it's going to cause your page to have weird marks within the wet media. So I'm just taking the brush and applying it a thin layer to the entire spread. After it's dry, I'm going to use a water brush and my violet watercolor pan, and I'm going to add water to that, either with this watercolor brush, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a paintbrush and a glass of water, the same thing will work. And I'm going to spread this paint on over the whole double-sided layout, and you can do it as light or as dark as you want. You just add more water to make it lighter, or add more of the paint to make it darker. And when we're done with this, you want it to still have some wet properties to it. You don't want it to dry super fast on your page because we're going to add salt, just regular normal table salt to the watercolor as it's drying. And the salt is going to soak up the watercolor and it's going to leave uh, a textured look to the background. So if you feel like you get to the end and your page is all dry, maybe add some water in the in more paint or just water in the really dry areas and then go ahead and add salt around the margins. And you can either dry it manually with a heated tool gun or you can just let it sit and dry. And then after the page is dry, just remove the salt by brushing it right off the page.
the wings that come in your kit have a design, but we're not going to actually use that side. The design is kind of to give you an idea of what the feathers are supposed to look like, how they have the bigger ones at the bottom, medium ones, and then the smaller ones at the top. I'm going to be adding some glitter glue to the outsides of the wings. This is Mercury Glass Stickles by Ranger and it's included in the kit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the outsides and I'm going to leave the inside of the wing pretty much bare. You can add as much or, or as little as you want. Most of this is going to get covered up by feathers. It's just going to be the bottoms that are going to be poking through. I wasn't sure when I first started how much you'd be able to see and it gets covered pretty good. So if you don't want to use the glue on, on areas that you know are going to be covered then you don't need to waste it. Now you can see that I have a fold in this wing and that's so that it can sit up on the page a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with my large feathers and I'm going to hot glue them in a dot at the top and a dot maybe two thirds of the way down and hold it on there so it'll stay in place. It's kind of difficult because they are curled and they want to curl up away from the page but I'm forcing them to curl towards the wing. And then the other thing is you can see the hot glue gun underneath this first layer, which is why I'm only doing a little dot instead of a long streak. So put the dots in a place where you know you can cover them up with additional feathers. So you have five large feathers, approximately seven medium feathers, and five small feathers for each wing. And so I use the medium sized feathers to go more in the, the smaller section of the wing and the larger feathers to go on the larger parts and, and as well as to overlap. And then I save the smallest feathers to go along the top. So just play around with it and know how much you have for each feather so you can manipulate them how you want. And it just takes some time and creativity. Also, along the very top part of the wings, we're going to use the other feathers that come in your kit. There's four, and they're really fuzzy at the top, and we're going to use the really fuzzy part to line the top of the wings so that it has a nice clean top and not all these random feathers sticking out of the top. So save those till the very end. And then if you have feathers that are poking out the top like mine are, you can just use a pair of scissors and clip off any extra. You can also take a feather if you don't like the shape of it or if it's too big and you want it for a smaller space and you can manually trim the feather to look the way you want it to or be the size that you want it to like you can see me doing right here. And I just took this wild feather and tamed it just a little bit and then used it as a smaller feather up top. To attach the top, you're going to use a strip of hot glue and then attach the fuzzy part of the feather with the middle part up above so that you can cut off the quill, keeping the rest of the feather intact, otherwise it will all fall apart. Then you flip the feather over and do it again. Remember to keep the quill up above the wing so you can cut that part off and just leave the, fe the fuzzy stuff behind. You've got two of these 
hackle saddle feathers that you can use on each wing. So the middle part is going to definitely need some additional fuzzies. Moving the bottom part of the feathers away from the glittered part, now we're gonna glue some of the snow that's in its own little bag onto the tips of this feather, so the wings. So I'm just adding them on with hot glue and I'm trying to make it so that I can put the feathers back over it when I'm done. So I'm not gluing it on top of the feathers, I'm gluing it to the glitter part. And then when I'm done and it's dry, I'm going to kind of trim this snow so that it's uh, not covering up all of the cuts in between the feathers. So I just take a pair of scissors and trim the sides. Now I'm taking these gem stickers and I'm cutting them into three smaller sections and I'm using them to cover up areas where I feel like the hot glue isn't covered up very well or if it's like a faded color underneath, like a yellowish color somewhere. And then I'm also just putting it in where I think it will look good as well. So I decided to keep it a little bit symmetrical but not totally and if it loses its stickiness, then you can always use your hot glue gun to fix it. Now to attach the wings to your book, I'm just going to use the 3D squares that are in your kit, and I'm gonna use two for each wing, and I'm gonna put it in the side margin so that you can still read the scriptures underneath if you want. And so I just put them there and I stick the wing on and then it's good to go. And I am also bending the wings again where that fold is along the highest point down so that they are sticking up off the page and not just laying totally flat. Now the last step is to add the healing in its wing stickers and you can put this, I'm putting it in the footnote so it's not covering any scriptures and I'm putting it just centered on the page. And that will be the last thing we do for this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It will make your book have a lot of chunk, but I love chunk. And if you don't want to have all this chunk, then you can just use the other side of the wings and color it in like markers. This will be the last page kit for 2022. You will always be able to get these after they are shipped individually priced. But be sure to follow our subscription so that you can get a cheaper price on future kits that we will be starting with the New Testament in January. Also, be sure to follow and subscribe on YouTube so you can see all these videos once they're available. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!